Hey, it's been a while since I did a video and, uh, you know, just busy with work and life and stuff. I mean, I could have made it happen, but I did not, obviously, and I thought, I'm just going to do a quick video. So I've got a brand new vintage card, really stoked. Well, I say brand new, I've probably had it a couple weeks, but uh, I won it at auction for $164. I think it was $5 shipping, so all in about $169. There's no uh, sales tax in Oregon. And uh, this is a card where I think I've been on this card, not this very card, but a copy of this card graded as well, maybe a year ago, and I lost. I was the underbidder, and I think I bid like twice as much, or maybe even a little more, and I'm not even sure it was this high of a grade, although it was about the same. This card is in a grade of uh, PSA 6, it turns out. So I thought what I would do is I'll, I'll give you some hints. We'll see, five or six or seven. Uh, and you probably won't get it on the first hint or two unless you are just, you know, just a mind reader. But I'll give you some hints and uh, let me know if you want to play along how many hints it took for you to nail down both the card and the player or how many hints to nail down the set, how many to nail down the player. Uh, however you want to do it. So I'll give you a hint and then I will pause uh, and think of another hint. So let's see. Let me come up with hint number one here. Uh, on this card, you are actually looking at the player through a knot hole. That is hint number one. You are looking at the player through a knot hole in the stadium fence. All right. Hint number two, this is uh, a food and beverage issue. Actually, I will be more specific. This is a beverage issue. So that is hint number two. This card is a beverage issue. All right, uh, hint number three. Let's keep tabs on this card, shall we? Let's keep tabs on this card, shall we? And I guess now that I think about it, these are just hints uh, for the set. And so see how many uh, hints it takes for you to guess the set. And then I'll move on to hints for the player. All right, hit number, hint number four, beer today, gone tomorrow. I don't know what that's supposed to say. <laughs> beer today, gone tomorrow. That is uh, maybe a mediocre hint or maybe a really strong hint. All right, hint number five, you could actually take the tab off of this card and join a baseball club by sending that tab in together with a dime and, uh, well, hey, a couple of bottle caps. So that is hint number five. Those are all the hints that I'm going to give uh, for the uh, set. And so now uh, let me give some hints for the player before we look at the card. All right, uh, the first hint for the player. Uh, this player won a World Series. Yeah, I know that's not much of a hint, but that is hint number one. All right, on to hint number two. This player won a, a Negro League World Series. So hint number one, even though I did not make it explicit, the player won a Major League World Series and hint number two, the player was on a team that won a uh, Negro League World Series as well. All right, hint number three for the player. He was actually twice the uh, home run leader. Two different seasons, he was the home run leader for his league. All right, hint number four for this player he hit a home run, I think just one, but maybe it was more, but I, I think it was just one. Uh, he hit a home run in, or more, one or more home runs in uh, a Negro League World Series, as well as one or more home runs in a Major League Baseball World Series. All right, hint number five. This player is kind of sort of known for being second He's kind of known for being second 
Although, uh, you know, he was kind of sort of, well, I'll just leave it at that. He's kind of known for being second. And uh, yeah, I think that's all the hints. And so now, uh, have you guessed it? <laughs> have you guessed the set? Have you guessed uh, the player? I tell you what, I feel like, you know, I just got a fantastic deal on this, but maybe, you know, prices are coming down. Uh, let me turn this camera around and let me show this bad boy, boy off. I mean, this is one sweet card. I can't believe, I know I said this before, but like, I'm pretty sure I bid twice as much or more on, you know, the equivalent card, like maybe a year ago. And, uh, you know, was the underbidder, I think, uh, did not win. But now, I guess, you know, maybe less eyes on this auction. Prices have came down, maybe some of both. Who the heck knows? People were chasing the shiny cards. <laughs> Here we go. Let me turn this camera around. And I present to you, oh, oh man, <laughs> is that glorious or what? Check this out. 58 hires root beer Larry Doby with tab. Folks, this card is super duper rare. <laughs> it's scarce, I think, with tab. In a sensational six. I mean, to me, this is just, you know, off the charts nostalgic here. I think it's beautiful too. All that green. And then, you know, you can see uh, his Indian, Indian logo there. All that green, uh, I think, contrasts really nicely with the wood grain and the black nameplate and then transitioning to the yellow tab. So you can always pause and, and read this if you wish. And then uh, I think for the back, let's kind of check it out this way. So you would put your name, your address, your city, your state. You would paste a dime here and then uh, two hires bottle caps in order to join this club. So I guess you'd probably put this, you know, tab in an envelope together with uh, your dime pasted onto this bottle cap and then uh, your two hires root beer tabs and join the club and you still get to keep the card. I mean, how sweet is that? You know, get your parents to buy, I don't know if these were four packs, six packs, but, you know, get your parents to buy a pack of the root beer. You get to keep the card and you get to join the club. Well, it's going to set you back a dime. You probably already have the bottle caps, you know, from uh, from buying the, the uh, root beer pack. I mean, I just think this is so sweet. Now, I will say it's cut off a little bit up here. So, you know, maybe that brought the price down. But uh, I'm kind of surprised they did not say miscut. But I think these are often uh, so miscut, uh, you know, that maybe they just let it go. Although, hey, if it's miscut, it's, it's miscut, right? So I'm kind of surprised they did not call it a miscut. I don't know. Maybe they factored that in. I will admit that kind of, you know, at first I was like, do I want to bid on this? Because, you know, that bottle cap's cut into, the, the words being cut into don't bother me so much. But uh, the bottle cap's, cap's cut into a little bit. But I just said to myself, Adam, Look at this bottle cap over here, Adam. Check that one out. That one's not cut into. So, yeah, you know, I mean, I think this is pretty nice. I mean, to be open, if I could, you know, get one uh, without the miscut, you know, hey, I would go for it. However, price is a consideration as well because I think there is a, a PSA 5 for like 900 and some bucks as a buy it now, which to me is, you know, way overpriced, but I'm not going to pay some crazy price uh, just to, you know, get a little bit better centering on the back. So, hey, this is tough. This is sweet. So for now, I'm, uh, you know, going to stick with this and uh, try to overcome uh, my pickiness because I tell you what, uh, this is one sweet, sweet, tough card. So, yeah, wow, wow. I cannot believe, I cannot believe it. All right, let me turn this around. I hope your collecting's going well. I hope your life's going well. Hey, we got a, an election, you know, less than a month away. So I hope you're not freaking out about that. <laughs> it'll be what it'll be. So, you know, I know that's easy to say, but I, I wish our country well, however it turns out. Yeah, I got my opinions like anyone else, but, you know, you're not here to hear about that. We're here to share in each other's joy as collecting brothers. So uh, thank you. Thank you for sharing in my joy. 
I hope you had a wonderful and peaceful time in the vintage sanctuary. Check this out. Take care, my friends.